In this video, I'm going to give you a full detailed review of the Speedball Artista Tabletop Pottery Wheel. Hi everyone, welcome to Pottery Crafters. I'm going to go through the features of this cool portable tabletop pottery wheel how it operates, and also give you a short demonstration on the wheel. By the end of this video, you'll know if this wheel's right for you. All the supplies used in this video are listed for you in the description below. Speedball became the manufacturer of the Artista Pottery Wheel when it was acquired by Creative Industries in 2009 and has a two-year warranty. This tabletop wheel weighs in at only 26 pounds, which makes it pretty light and easy to carry around. It's 25 inches long, 18 inches wide, and only 9 inches high. You can set it on a table or a stand of some kind for the right height for you. Let's take a closer look at this portable pottery wheel. The Artista comes with two plastic containers to hold your water, tools, or clay scraps, which is pretty cool and convenient. The shell is made of a lightweight, durable plastic, which contributes to its light weight in general. The splash pan is removable, which is a great plus. This splash pan is very secure. The smaller rear piece must be removed before you can remove the larger front piece. The rear portion comes off easy and has two catch hooks that lock the two pieces together. You have to pull a little hard to remove this section of the splash pan because it has a bracket right under the wheel that holds it into place. I've read the splash pan gets easier to remove as time goes on. To install the splash pan, the front piece must slide under the bracket first. Then the rear portion to lock it into place. The Artista pottery wheel head is not metal, it's a very hard plastic. You can hear it. <laughs> it's 11 inches across, which is a pretty good size, and has bat holes. And comes with bat pins that are easy to install. Just a screw and, oops, <laughs> a screw and a wing nut. The wheel fits all bats with 10 inch holes. It also comes with two bats. This one is 12 inches across. And this one is a seven and a half inch square. You can use bats larger than 12 inches, but you have to remove the splash pan to use them. Here's the on off power switch. Make sure your dial is on off before you turn the power switch on. And the speed dial. The motor is a third of a horsepower and it rotates up to 222 revolutions per minute. Which is, that's pretty fast. It says you can throw up to 25 pounds of clay. This wheel doesn't have a reverse switch. You can order an Artista for left-handed throwers. Let's take this wheel for a test drive. Our splash pan is locked into place. I'm gonna fill my bucket with water. This bat has nine inch and 10 inch holes. 
So you find your 10 inch holes and just place it right on your back pins. Let's throw some clay. The motor's pretty quiet on a low speed. Still only a little noise on a higher speed. Not bad. Pretty good. I have a pound and a half of Amico number no. 11 Amix stoneware white clay. Let's see how it takes the pressure of centering. I don't feel it bogging down at all. It's pretty good. Did a nice job centering. I'll slow the wheel down. Do you like throwing wet? I sure do. Have you tried a portable wheel before? Let me know in the comments section below. Feels pretty good. If you have any ideas for future projects, let me know in the comments section below. I'd love to hear them. I must say, this is a pretty good portable wheel to throw on. I think this wheel would also be good for applying glaze and slip. It's nice to be able to take your wheel to the decorating area too. Finish it off. Pretty nice. The surface wipes off really good, nice and easy. It's easy to get the sponge right in here. If you don't want to take the splash pan off. But you can still take the splash pan off and clean it up. You get under on the sides also. If you throw wet like I do. This Artista pottery wheel has some cool optional accessories. If you don't care for the speed dial on the side, you can always order a foot pedal separately. Once you plug the foot pedal in on the side here, the speed dial on this side won't work until you unplug your foot pedal. Another accessory you can get is the Speedball Artista leg extensions if you want to sit. They're 21 inches high for a good stable seated throwing. And you can get fixed or foldable legs, which is a nice option. Because of the wheel's light weight and small dimensions, you can easily store this wheel, which really helps in smaller studios. I think this is a good portable wheel that you can take to your friend's house or use for teaching and demonstrations. Transporting this is no problem at all. You can take this wheel anywhere that you can find an outlet. It also has a really nice eight foot cord and it'll easily fit in most car trunks. I think this is a good pottery wheel if you're a hobby potter or you're just starting out. You have a small space to work in or possibly a second wheel that you can use for trimming, making small things, spray glazing, decorating traveling. 
The bonus is the ability to easily take this wheel anywhere you want, if you have an outlet. I found this Artista Pottery Wheel great tabletop wheel that has a few options that are also found in the full-size wheels and less expensive. I hope I've helped you in deciding what portable pottery wheel is right for you. If you want to check out the Speedball Artista, click down below in the show notes and follow my link. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video comes out. You can also check out more informative videos on my YouTube channel. Till next time, let's stay dirty.